Hello there and welcome to this video. It's another one on Ferry Den. Different view, I've gone round all the houses this time. But uh, it's raining. <laughs> so you might catch spots of rain on the lens and you may even see some, well, umbrella. I've got a huge umbrella, a big golfing one I carry about. So if I get it in this shot and I don't edit it out, off. <laughs> anyway, I shall take a walk along in a minute and I'm going right out to Scurdy Ness and Sandy Braes. Uh, it stops raining at one point, but as you can see it's dank and dismal. Even the seagull looks scunnered. That means fed up if you're not Scottish. <laughs> uh, that's in the distance, that's Glaxo Smith Klein, the chemical company. Now this bit, you can see the tides coming in. And although I'm an old geezer, I didn't thought, I'd think I was a complete twit, but there you go. I could have got caught along here, especially if I did trip top and fallen. Anyway, I'm making for the steps, which are now underwater, just. So I'm going on that concrete raised bit, and then I'm going on that plank, that log of wood, providing it doesn't float off down the, the south esk. <laughs> My shoes are waterproof <laughs> and the Gore-Tex, so they let the stink out and keep the water out. <laughs> so there you go, I'm up on the bank in here, this raised bit, I'm pretty safe. There was never any danger of that log floating away because as you could see it was tied up to the railings. Now we're on the car park, yet again, looking across at the, across at the old signal tower and the docks. And down into Ferry Den itself there. I will go up on the, the upper walk road shortly. But uh, I'm just closing in on the washing to show you that it is washing day. And that's just how they hang it out at this part of Ferry Den. There, that's the last bungalow on the road out of Ferry Den towards Gurdy Ness, the lighthouse. And I thought some people were breaking into a car down there, but they're not. They're actually loading up. They'd camped out overnight down there. It's one of the old signal towers. We're looking out across the St. Cyrus, Montrose, GSK, and Annette Bank there as well. That was a tantalizing view of Scurdy Ness Lighthouse, but you'll see it again in a minute. And I'm just whizzing around. GSK's having a new part of the factory built. And you can see the church there. Reputedly got the highest tower in Scotland. There's the new part of GSK being built. And we're whizzing round to the road now in the places where the cattle go. I think they were all the gun emplacements at one time back in the day. I'm not sure. Coming back, Nanit Banks there, that's a sand bank that moves and that's why any shipping coming in and out of Montrose has to have a pilot on board. And there's the famous Scurdy Ness Lighthouse and the old signal tower to the left. I'm getting dizzy, but I never get fed up with this skyline. I seriously don't. I think it's lovely. I've zoomed in. That's why it all looks closer. Hello. I think I'm doing a 360 here. I'm going to go for a complete spin around. There we go. <laughs> and there they are in the distance. I've zoomed out now. That's wide angle. Hello. I've spotted some cyclists. You can tell with the colours. <laughs> You'll notice it's stopped raining. It's got quite nice actually. I'm making myself dizzy doing that. I think it's time I stop doing it. I 
think I'm trying to show how the mist cleared. That's what it is. And there it is. Scurdy Ness. The lighthouse. Superb. And you can walk right round the side of it. Leaning up against it if you want. And round to Sandy Braes. Then you can carry on to Main of, Mains of Usen. And carry on again to Fish Town of Usen. And keep going till you get to Red Castle in Bodden. And keep, keep going till you get to Abroath. And if you want to keep going, you'll come to Edinburgh eventually. <laughs> now you've got to get to Dundee first. That was one of the old signal towers that's under renovation. Now I'm up in the field. The crop's been cut, so it's safe. Just to get a different angle and a different view. It's a shame it wasn't completely clear. You'd see right across to the mountains. Anyway, this shot I'm doing, the shoot in front of us, I'm driving from Ferry Den into... Tesco's in town in Montrose. You can tell by the light it's quite early morning. It could of course be quite late at night. <laughs> Docks looks nice and busy. Somebody doing a house up on the left there. Twenty mile an hour. And even that's too fast around here. As you can see, <laughs> I usually do about 10, it's safer with kids, animals and other cars. And wheelie bins, if ever the wheelie bins go on the march, we've had it. That's it, we're off. We've just two and a half times the normal speed limit. But only digitally. <laughs> Ossifer. The factory to your right, but the houses are up to your left, obviously. These are all on the right, something to do with the docks. There's the railway viaduct in front of you. And then we'll come to the roundabout. Zonk around that. The canal basin's over to your left, as is Rossi Island. Going over the new road bridge. Well, it's not new now, but it's not the old road bridge. And then the shell garage. And then firmery to your left. And around here you can see the basin tied in. Railway station. You won't see the old co-op. It is gone. <laughs> they were knocking it down. Oh, it's still there, sorry. They were knocking it down in April this year, 2016, when I was there. So this part of the video must have been shot last year, September 2015. That's us into Tesco and I think I shall slow down now, slow the video I mean. Otherwise you, know, <laughs> you can see everybody's walking funny. That's it, back to normal. Then 
next to the trolley park because I can squeeze my door right over there. There's nobody in the car but me. Thanks for watching the video. Bye. Mm -hmm.